Hi, it's Paul from Wicked Acorn. We're in sale and we're at St. Paul's Open Day. seen Punch and Judy before. I've just discovered somebody who's in an upcoming story that we're touching on, or we're going to do a whole story about it actually. And this is Jeffrey Price. He's the great grandson of John Johnson Hunt. Jeffrey, you want to tell us a little bit about your great grandfather? Yes, he was um, he was chief engineer of uh, Manchester Fire Brigade until he retired in. 1890 and then uh, took on the role of Chief of Sail Fire Brigade in 1890 for, for which he served until he died in 1909. He was quite a brave man really when he was working in Manchester uh, he, he uh, went into many a fire to rescue people and indeed that happened uh, in last in 1909 when there was a fire at Brooklyn's Hotel he went in and the roof beam fell on him and as a result of that a week later he died of his injuries. Wow. It, uh, incredible bravery. Yep. Certainly was, yeah. yeah. Over 120 years ago. So were there any stories passed down? Any recollections of them from... No, all we have is uh, we have some um, newspaper cuttings of his funeral uh, and uh, of his life. He also um, was awarded some uh, fire service medals 
and we have some newspaper cuttings of that but also John Johnson Hunt uh, kept a scrapbook of all the various incidents in Manchester and Sale and we have that and that's given us most of the information. Oh that's brilliant, that's brilliant. Hopefully include some of that stuff in the in the video. Uh, Jeffrey, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Thank you so much for telling us a little bit about your great grandfather. Yeah, that's fine. This was also used during World War II, the air raid warden patrols, this is where they were stationed. They would come out and do all their lookouts from here. Uh, they would come and sit up here and just keep an eye on things. They all had their tin hats, and when they weren't wearing their tin hats, there's a little hook on the side there. That's where they used to hang their tin hats. And also during World War II, the church was bombed, the clock tower survived, but the roof of the church was hit, and obviously it all collapsed in. Now, my understanding is that it obviously damaged all of the pews. Now, if you go down into the church when you finish the tower tours, what they did was because it collapsed into the centre sort of aisle, they swapped the pews round, so all the damage is now on the outside. So if you go and have a look, you'll start to see some little chunks and bits and pieces taken out. It's not people getting hungry during sermons or anything like that. So if you have a careful look, you'll start to see some chunks and bits and pieces missing off the top. Usually they're nice and rounded at the top of the pews. Chunks and dints of bits and pieces missing. That was down to damage by the red plant during World War II. We're at St Paul's Church, so all the money will go towards St Paul's Church.